take a look on today's top news headlines are Sol Corporation launched Carmex and Fluprimin. Anand Agrocreer launches two new product ranges. Syngenta India gets approval to use drones to spray fungicide. Ifoka Science signs an MEU with Nabard. Big Heart appoints three new senior executives. Hello, I'm Suthi Shukla. You are watching Agribusiness News. Let's start with the latest updates. Sol Corporation Limited, a leading provider of sustainable agriculture solution, announced that it would launch Carmax in Indian containing the patented active ingredient Fluprimin to target the most damaging rice pest. The launch will coincide with the Kharif crop sowing season, typically starting in June, with rice the most important crop sown at this time. Ashish Dobal, UP region head for India, said, India is the world's second largest producer of rice and the largest exporter of stable crop. Growers have been waiting for a one-shot effective solution to protect against different rice pests. Through Carmex, Sol is delivering top of the industry control of YSB and BPS. Anand AgroCare has recently launched two new product categories, Anand AgroCare Dr. Bactose 4K and Anand AgroCare Dr. Bactose 5G. Anand AgroCare Dr. Bactos 4K product category includes a wide range of biofertilizers, decomposers and bioinsecticides and Bactos 5G it is made up of glucose based eco-friendly biodegradable gelatin capsules that are ideal of cost effective organic farm. Central Insecticide Board has given its approval to seed and agri solution major Sedenta India to use drone to spray its fungicide. Amritsar top on the paddy crop. This fungicide is used to protect the crop against infections such as blast and shed blight. Sunil Kurchania, head of crop protection development Sajenta India, said, We are also evaluating the use of our solution through drones in different crops like cotton, soybean, groundnut, hot paper, red gram, corn, rice in Maharashtra. Ifco Kisan signed an MAU with NABARD, National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, under which Ifco Kisan will provide end-to-end -end ICT based agro advisory service to the 22,500 farmers of Kerala and 5,000 farmers of Jharkhand state for one year. Ifco Kisan will also ensure accessibility to the Ifco Kisan app for up to five days for personalized agriculture solution through voice calls and the marketplace platform for buying and selling the produce. Africa Mart, a sunny glasses startup that is using digital technology to transform the value chain of fresh agriculture produce, has raised US dollar 85 850,000 in seed funding from leading venture capital firms such as Block Smart Africa. Mignane Diofe, founder and CEO of Africa Mart, said, Once we have successfully entered the sunny glasses market, we intended to take our tech platform and know how to other West African countries. Seven Padi Taluk in Maharashtra, Sindhu Dur district has established itself fully as a national rubber producing centre with the annual production there increasing to 3,000 tonnes. According to Savardhania, President of All India Rubber Industries Association, tyre firms such as CS and MRF are procuring some of their needs from Seven Padi, where at least 2,000 acres have been brought under NR cultivation. Big Heart, the digital agri platform, has announced the addition of three senior leaders Vishal S. Vadwani as Chief Finance Officer, Richa Hukumchan as Head of Data Sciences and Analytics, and Indranil Ghosh as Head of Supply Chain Management. Quitting Satish Nukala and Sachin Nandwana, co founder of Big Heart, a statement said each of the leaders bring a series of outstanding achievements and depth of experience to accelerate growth and deliver innovation solutions to our customer needs. A two-day India Rubber Meet 2022 will be held in Kochi from July 22 to discuss the challenges and opportunities in the rubber sector. Anupriya Singh Patil, Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, will inaugurate the meet, which will also discuss ways to stimulate innovative ideas and plan strategically for a more sustainable future. The theme of IRM is National Rubber for Sustainable Future. Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, VK Saxena, issued an order to all organizations that look after park, gardens, big stretches of land and those engaged in horticulture to plant a total 10,000 sandalwood trees around the city. He said, Contrary to the belief that these trees can't grow in a climate condition present in Delhi and other locations across the nation, all these trees, including the one that were planted at Rajghat, in had in just a year not only survived but had grown to a height of 9 to 10 feet. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched a Digital India Week 2022 in Gandhinagar, Gujarat, with the theme of Catalyzing New India Decade. Throughout the program, he also launched a number of digital initiatives aimed at improving technology, accessibility, streamlining service delivery to ensure ease of living and assisting startups. He said in his piece, I am glad that his campaign, which began eight years ago, has grown with a changing time. With the passage of time, the country that does not adopt modern technology falls behind. Ministry of Agriculture, Government of Indonesia and Solidarity Network Asia launched a resource center for oil palm smallholders at the ministry building of Kementerian Patanian. The resource center will be managed by Solidarity Indonesia to develop programs and products for smallholders to adhere to ISPO standards. The resource center will also promote regenerative agriculture in palm oil. Asia's largest integrated exposition on cleaning technology, Clean India Technology Week, comprising of the 18th edition of Clean India Show. Waste Technology India Expo, Lodrex India Expo and Auto Care Expo with five conference and seminar is being organized from July 13th to 15, 2022 at India Exposition Mark Limited, Greater Noida. For more such agri updates, stay connected with Krishi Jagran Business. Thank you.